The big down day on Wall Street yesterday is having ripple effects on world markets this morning. Asian markets began the day down, continuing Monday's big sell-off on Wall Street. The Dow dropped 459 points and the Nasdaq plunged almost 3%. The tech sector is taking a fair share of the blame. So-called FANG stocks, that's Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, have seen their market value drop by more than $300 billion in the past two weeks. The old saying is the market can deal with bad news, but it just hates uncertainty. It hates the idea that we don't know what the final trade deal is going to be with China. Investors are also reacting to China's decision to impose tariffs on some 1,200 U.S. commodities. Minnesota is the number three pork producer in the nation. Some local farmers are concerned about the impact a 25 percent Chinese tariff on U.S. pork. We need stable prices. We do need good markets. Um, it's important to us as farmers, and like I said earlier, it's important to businesses. The tariffs mirror President Trump's 25% tariff on imported steel and 15% hike on aluminum. WCCO Chief Political Reporter Pat Kessler joins us now. Pat, farmers in a trade war with China, how much do they need to worry about that? I think they really do need to worry. Their profit margin for farmers everywhere, including pork producers, is very, very thin. They're not making a lot of money, and in Minnesota, farmers have spent the last 20 years trying to expand imports. Pork producers are one of the very big exports for Minnesota farmers. We even in Minnesota took a number of trade missions to China to try to improve that market, and it has been very successful. So I do think they need to be concerned. Also, there are other possible tariffs on the way, not just from China, but possibly from Europe and other places that might retaliate with a trade war. Things in Minnesota like lawnmowers with the Toro Corporation, Harley-Davidson motorcycles in Wisconsin, Anderson windows uh, in for construction, all of these different products are exported. And that's where I think people are going to really take a close look at what's happening with a possible trade war. A lot of eyes on that one for sure. Oh, well, yeah. 